Hi, I'm Karis Ferris from Worcester Warriors, and you're watching The Women's Rugby Show. Hello and welcome back to The Women's Rugby Show. I'm Sam Bardaway, and today I'm here with our fifth episode of Allianz Premier 15 Season Review Series. Today it's the turn of Gabby Cantona, the Exeter Chiefs and USA Women's Utility Back, and we speak to her about the Chiefs' debut season in the Premier 15s. If you haven't already watched all of the videos in this series, click here for that playlist. But before we get into this video, make sure you like this video on YouTube, subscribe to us on YouTube as well, as well as checking us out across all social medias. If you've done all that, let's get into the video. Gabby, thanks a lot for joining us. First of all, how are you? How have you been since the season's finished? Yeah, I've been really good. Just um, relaxing, trying to recover um, so that I'm ready, you know, for the next time I get to play rugby um, and just enjoying spending some time with the girls, really. So getting into the review in this season, how do you feel the season went from an extra Chiefs point of view and also from a personal point of view being played in the Premier 15s? Yeah, so I think um, from a team point of view, I think the season went really, really well. Um, I think initially we were really excited to be a part of the league um, and we were kind of just, you know, happy to be included. Um, but I think as time went on and we got more comfortable with each other, we really started performing well. And I, I think that's because we really enjoyed each other and we, we realized that we were all very competitive and we wanted to play well for each other. So I think, you know, that middle point of the season where we, started beating teams was really a culmination of just those weeks together and us getting to know each other more. Um, so yeah, I think overall our growth throughout the season was really fantastic and I would expect us to continue growing into next season as well. And what about from your perspective playing in it, obviously the Chiefs were a new team in the Premier 15s this season, how enjoyable was it to be part of that kind of journey from a brand new team to get some massively huge results against Quinns and, and Saracens? I really enjoyed it. I thought that it was brilliant for my personal development. Um, I think initially coming into the season, I wasn't really sure how much I was going to play. Um, so again, I was just, I was happy to be here. I was happy to be playing rugby. Um, but I think as, as the season went on, um, I kind of grew into the role on the team um, and started performing more consistently. And I think it was really great for my development, but also, um, yeah, it was, I've never played that many rugby games in a year and I absolutely loved it. So I definitely wouldn't trade that for anything. Uh, which was your favourite of those games? You'd have to pick a game of the season this year. My personal favourite is the Sail Shark at home game um, when we had the fans in. That was, um, yeah, that was an experience. It was experiencing Sandy Park at, you know, not even at its peak, but um, with people inside of it was was crazy and they brought so much energy um, and I think we really responded well to it and really, you know, um, took that as kind of a fuel for that game. So that was that one was my favorite. I know there's some other answers for people that are more obvious, but I definitely enjoyed that one the most. How much are you excited for kind of the next time you can play in front of a full crowd? Well, hopefully more of a crowd and more regularly. I'm pretty excited. I, I, I mean, to be honest, I don't play often in front of crowds. So it's something that I'm still getting used to, but I really do enjoy um, the energy that they bring and kind of the environment um, as well. And yeah, I, I, I'm really looking forward to the next opportunity to play in front of people. And obviously you said the sale game is your favourite game of the season. What was kind of the toughest game this season for you? The toughest game? I would say, I might have to say the, um, the Loughborough game at home. Um, it was a pretty, pretty tight game. Um, and I think it was kind of a game of two halves for us. So we, we performed really solidly in that first half. And then the second half, it kind of felt like it was, we were fighting an uphill battle, even though we had already, you know, come out and performed well in the first half. So I think that one was pretty, pretty physical and exhausting. And they, um, they do put a lot of pace under the ball and want to play wide. So it really, you know, asked a lot out of us, I think. And what about your, the toughest individual opponent you face this season? Obviously there's so many internationals in this league, so many quality players, but who was the toughest for you? That is a really, really good question. Um, I'm not great with names. I'm going to preface that one, but I would have to give that shout to the Worcester 13. Um, she really runs some some devastating lines through through a defense, and I also um, she she really spotted out of, out of the line when I was coming around the back or or you know like trying to play into space, um, and it made it really difficult for me to get 
any ball in my hand or do anything. So she she actually did cause me a lot of problems. So I'll, I'm going to give that shout to her. And from an extra chief point of view, who would be your extra chief player of the season this year? Ooh, that is a very good question. Um, well, I do think, and she's actually already gotten this multiple times, um, but I do think it would have to go to Emily Tutosi, the hooker. Um, she's, her attitude and her work rate is second to none. She always, you know, brings a good energy into training. She played almost all, every minute of every game as a front row. Um, she, she works so hard. She really, you know, is dedicated to the team, but also, you know, her individual performance and her craft, she's always doing her extras. So I'm, I'll probably have to give it to her just for lifting the rest of the girls, but also for her, you know, consistent work rate and performance. And if you had to pick a chief player to watch kind of for next season, maybe one that we haven't seen much of this year, but has been around in training and impressed, who would that be, do you reckon? Ooh, that is a good question. Um, hmm. I might have to give that one to, probably have to give it to Neve Terry, the Welsh, the Welshie. Mm -hmm. She's played and she's had a few, you know, games in in with us in the back line. But I think that um, she's she's a really young player and she's as a result, she can be kind of quiet. But when she gets the ball in her hands, she can really um, put some pace onto it. And the way that she manipulates defenders with her footwork, but also, you know, with her kicking options, I think is is really, really good to see. Um, and I do think that as she grows in confidence, she'll be one of those players that starts to stand out. Um, and when you give her the ball, you know, she'll make something happen. So I'll, I'll give that one to her. Finally, what are your kind of aspirations from next year for yourself and for or from next to Chiefs perspective? From a Chiefs perspective, I would love to see us in the top four um, playing in the semis and then hopefully the finals. I think it's um, something that we'd be silly not to aim for. And I think um, as long as we, you know, play for each other and with each other and, and really dedicate ourselves to, you know, the, our performances throughout the whole season and try to keep it consistent the, the whole way. I do think it's a place that we can get to. Um, and then for me, um, obviously hoping to come back and, and play next season um, and have the ability to be as consistently in the squad as I was this last season. Um, and, um, leading into the World Cup cycle, it, it's important for me to just continue with my personal development. So that'll be, you know, it'll be, be a big focus on my own skill set, but then also how I can translate that into a team. And one more last question before you get on the rest of your day. And what would be your three-word season review from this season? Three-word season review. Okay, let's think. Um, three-word season review. Let's go with exciting physical and enjoyable. Brilliant. Thanks a lot for joining us. Um, congratulations on a really successful first season and good luck for next season as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm May Campbell from Saracens and you've been watching the Women's Rugby Show.